Knowledge it here at Junction. Good stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Knowledge Hunt. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog restaurant review videos, we are visiting Junction Bar and Grill in the Bywater neighborhood of New Orleans. Junction Bar and Grill is located at 3021 St. Claude Avenue, which is about five minutes and two miles away from the French Quarter. Junction is a popular neighborhood spot in the Bywater as they have over 40 beers on tap, so it's time to grab a beer as you're invited to eat with me a great burger and a great fish and chips as we continue our best burger quest. Let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. I've had the great burger here before, but I've never had the fish and chips. New Orleans has a lot of great seafood, but finding a good British style fish and chips is a challenge as it seems to be a rare item on most menus in the area. So they've got a nice back patio back here. And on nicer days, this is a pleasant place to go and enjoy some good times. But today it's been a little bit rainy and things are a bit wet out here and we're a bit far from the bar out here. So we're gonna go back inside and take a seat at the bar as it's the best place to be when you wanna drink some beer and eat some food and have quick refills on your beer. They do have a lot of nice tables in here and really large tables. So you've got plenty of seating options here. We are celebrating a happy Armageddon here with the ongoing situation in the world. But at least we've got over 40 beers on tap to enjoy ourselves and plenty of beers and bottles and cans. So this is definitely a great spot to kick back and enjoy for any people that love beer and I've already gotten one myself. So we're probably gonna have more than just one as we have quite a lot of interesting food items we need to get through. Let's check out the menu now. So we have the Boxcar Burger, which is six ounces of our grass-fed, hormone-free ground beef from St. Amant, Louisiana, served on a brioche roll from Dong Fong Bakery. Then we have our Junction Specialty Burgers. We have the Austin Western, which is a shout out to our spiritual neighbors in Austin, Texas. This burger features house candied jalapenos, house made pimento cheese, and our very own barbecue sauce. The New Mex Rail Runner. No visit to the American Southwest would be complete without the flavors of roasted green chilies, yellow cheddar, and our own house-made spicy chipotle aioli. The Philadelphia Midland. It's not a cheese steak, but it's a six ounce patty. Uh, freshest ground beef with Swiss cheese, grilled mushrooms, fried onions, and our homemade lemon ginger aioli. Central Vermont, a taste of the Green Mountain State. This burger blends sweet and savory with applewood smoked bacon, white cheddar, grilled apple, and a maple crema. Hawaii Consolidated, celebrating the sugarcane hauling lines of our 50th state. This burger is treated to our house-made dry rub and spicy teriyaki topped with Canadian bacon, pepper jack, and our fresh pineapple jam. As seen on TV. Kansas City Southern, inspired by the barbecue traditions of Kansas City, this burger features a brown sugar and cayenne glazed dry rub topped with sharp yellow cheddar, grilled onions, and mushrooms in our house-made barbecue sauce. A Florida Southern, paying homage to America's largest mango grower, this vegetarian delight features our house-made black bean patty, mango salsa, roasted tomato aioli, and pepper jack cheese. Boston and Maine, a delicious alternative to our amazing burgers. This sandwich features a four ounce cod fillet deep fried and our classic beer batter, dressed with our Creole tartar sauce, coleslaw, and pickles. We have chicken tenders with fries, chicky tender mill with fries, mac and cheese, delicious salads, pickled beet salad, pickled cob, house Caesar salad, chicken Caesar salad, then jumbo wings, you can get buffalo, mandarin, or Tijuana flavors. Then other things, we have fish and chips, and cut french fries. Then we have a canceled item, and then Tijuana fries, and then fried pickle basket, and loaded fries, and pickled eggs, and mac and cheese. So I ordered the New Mex Rail Runner Burger, and I've had this before, and I've always enjoyed it. So this is quite a generously sized burger with huge fries. So let's dig in. There's lots of good stuff on here. Look at this. Ooh, got a nice thick piece of meat, 
And Dong Fong Bakery makes excellent bread, so I have confidence that the structural integrity will hold together very nicely. So I've also got the experience of having eaten this burger enough times as well to know that their burgers also are very well constructed and everything stays together very nicely here. And look how beautiful that meat is in there. What a thick patty of beef it is. Ooh. So this burger definitely stands up to the way I eat and we have no problems with structural integrity whatsoever. So it always maintains excellent holding together pattern along with maintaining great flavor, a marvelous meat to bun ratio that they have perfectly executed here. So this is a really well designed burger, fantastic flavors with so many great things going on with the different components, wonderful ooey gooey cheese and everything exactly the way I would want it with a burger. So they really do an excellent job here with the burgers. They definitely have one of the better burgers in the area, and uh, they certainly have a really great approach to how they put all of the ingredients together with this. Some really great natural products in here, and hey, it's always good to have hormone-free beef. I've already got enough hormones in my body. I don't need any uh, extra artificial hormones inside my food, right? So this burger's got really great juiciness the flavor of it is just so beefy wonderful and then combined with all the ooey gooeyness of the cheese and this perfect dong fong bakery bun just oh it all combines to make really nice flavors and i certainly have no complaints about the slight spiciness of the roasted green chilies on here either that also really contribute to the really wonderful flavor for such a larger size burger this scene goes down very quick and easy every bite is a pleasure and everything perfectly fits together they have just a perfectly constructed burger with all of the components combining exactly and their form and function and size the way they need to be so this is an engineering marvel of a perfect burger where the meat bun and toppings all combined perfectly and I've just totally destroyed it but I still have some really large fries to get through as well. Look at these monsters. This is a really large tasty delicious french fry. It is definitely not your average fry. It's got lots of flavor to it and oh my goodness look how huge these things are. It's like monster sized french fries. These are not any sort of dainty kind of french fry. These things are definitely very hearty, large things. So just like I destroyed this burger and fries, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this fantastic burger. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and appreciate any assistance with that. Now it's time for the fish and chips, and I've never had this before. I've heard it's fantastic, and it looks fantastic. I can't wait to dig in, but oh, 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 it's blazing hot. Oh, my goodness. But, of course, I'm just going to risk burning my mouth and tongue because I've got to sample it, and oh, it's so good. Perfectly fried. I'm really enjoying it, but the tips of my fingers are getting a little cooked. And, oh, this is a really hot piece of fish. It's definitely freshly fried, no question about that, but there's really good flavors in here, but I've got to put on a little bit of malt vinegar to really uh, make it into the fish and chips I dream about, because I love some malt vinegar on my fish and chips. Oh, look at this nice flaky fish. Definitely great flavors in here. This is exactly the way I would like a fish and chips to be. So they definitely have made a nice crunchy crust with a beer batter. The fish is perfectly cooked. Everything tastes exactly the way I would like it to taste. So this is certainly a good example of fish and chips. I'm a little sad that it's taken me this long to sample these. How's that fish and chips? Hot, good. Oh yeah. There are only a handful of places in New Orleans that really do a proper fish and chips. So I'm really happy that Junction is meeting the criteria to be added to my list. So this is definitely one of the few of the really good traditional style fish and chips 
Whenever you uh, go out and ask questions about fish and chips in New Orleans, unfortunately, you mostly get back uh, places that do catfish. Catfish just doesn't work for that fish and chips craving that people have when they like that traditional British style fish and chips. This is what we're looking for. Catfish is just not the fish that uh, we're looking for. That cornmeal batter, it just doesn't match up to the flavors we crave while this does. Ooh, this is so wonderful. Of course, this is so hot, my fingertips and the inside of my mouth might be quite cooked too by the time I'm through with this. But it's so good, I have to keep digging into it. Oh, it's so nice. I love the flavors in here. It's uh, really well prepared. I'm really enjoying it. So, um, certainly having a good time with everything here. It's time to wash it down with a little beer and cool my burning mouth down a little bit. It's always good to have a fresh beer and cheers to all of you. And ooh, there we go. I think I cooled everything in my mouth down a little bit. Now I can eat a little more of the blazing hot fish and chips here. Ooh, it looks so beautiful. I love it when the fish is so white and flaky with the beer batter crossed on it that's so perfectly crunchy. Now, I don't know how well this would travel in store. I think the crust on here with the size of the fish would most likely go soggy pretty fast. I've got a few little soggy places just from putting the uh, malt vinegar on there, but overall it's still pretty crunchy. So you probably would uh, need to watch out with any kind of uh, getting things to go with the fish and chips because sometimes that crust can get soggy fast. But hey, this piece right here, perfectly crunchy and delicious still. Ooh, now I think it's time to dig into the chips because uh, look at here. These are the same chips I had before with my burger and I'm not going to eat those. I'm so full. My belly is too stuffed. So the total for this huge feast was $38.50 before tip, which included two beers as well. So thanks so much to everybody at Junction for fantastic burgers and now the fish and chips that I also know is fantastic. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagen channel, especially on my Patreons. And if you could just remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, that really would help me, and I do appreciate it. And then just go ahead and tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolagen channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.